What's going on guys? It's your boy Crypto Mikhail here coming to you today with a Hive OS update guys. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to reflash a BIOS on Hive OS with a card that may or may not have a flaw. We'll see. And of course, brought to you today, guys, by CryptoMikelDesigns.com. Head over there, guys, get your awesome swag like this hizzity hat right here. You know, there are some new things on this website that we will actually talk about in one second. But make sure you go over there, show your love for me, and help this channel and my community grow by purchasing some of the gear. All right, I would appreciate it. Thanks, guys. There's also donation links down below anything you donate does help go towards the channel getting some new hardware um, like some stuff that we have today to test out and so of course be sure to join CM designs the crypto community on yen for me uh, crypto Mikel uh, head over there that is the community that I am building on yen.io which I represent um, Please head over here. I'll have the link for it down in the description as well with an invite code if you need it to get into yen.io because you'll see lots of awesome stuff that I post on there that you don't see hardly anywhere else. Actually, you don't see anywhere else unless you're in Discord sometimes. <coughs> so if you want the backseat sneak previews, you got to join to see what's going on. So like this right here, you know, back October 5th, is what's going on in the mine while the mice chase raven i'll be beaming and beam solo pool so i was soloing a beam I, I was on there for like three days and i didn't have any luck it wasn't low enough and not enough hash rate so it's okay i wasted three days of hash of power but is what it is it's the game we are in as well see here are some of the new designs on cryptomichaeldesigns.com the new yin artwork we got going on it is so awesome we even got coffee mugs guys look at those look at those coffee mugs gotta love it as well as a new yen hat this is now a vintage og yen design um this is the new look new logo we're going with is the basic yen like it is on the back like this on the back of these hats too um but doesn't look like this and this is the new front Unicorn, Yenizen, Yeniverse. Gotta love this, guys. As well as we have a beanie. If you want to get a beanie, you can head over to CryptoMikelDesigns.com. If you're in the community, there's the link for these right here. And would really appreciate you guys joining up and seeing what I have to offer. So, anyway, we were we're gonna hop into this today, guys. We are on the AMD rig. And I got this for super, 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 duper, duper, duper cheap because the guy was having problems with it. Um, I think the BIOS was flashed and he couldn't get the, it was on, he could see it on Windows, but Windows wouldn't recognize it. Um, I don't think he was running Pixel Patcher. Someone may have modded the BIOS for him. And uh, there is a, two broken fan blades. So I got it for really, really cheap. We're just we're gonna go get a we're gonna get a fan kit and we're gonna replace the fan blades. Um, so we'll have that video coming up here shortly. But first, we're just gonna we're just gonna plug this card into Hive OS and see what it says and if Hive recognizes it. And if it doesn't, and it allows us to put the BIOS on it, I have downloaded the stock BIOS for this card right here. Which I'll have this in the link in the description, so you can download it if you need it, um, or use this website uh, for yourself. Just type in the card that you have and type in ROM, and usually it takes you here to Tech Power Up. Um, so this is an Asus Strix 574 gigabyte card. Um, you know, nothing fancy. Um, I do have one of these myself. Um, you know, it has a just a single 8-pin connector. Uh, nothing like 
crazy fancy about the card a little RGB light right here uh, you know mine mine does go 31 mega hashes on uh, Ethereum classic so that's a bonus so I'm interested to see if we can get this one to do the same um, as you know the the FXX is kind of all kind of vary around um, that one sapphire though he does only 30 um, but he runs really cool so we're gonna see how that plays out and we'll be right back here we are in the mine we have plugged, plugged everything in uh, we got the riser plugged into the card you know as you can see there's the <clears throat> two missing fan blades there's uh, there's the eight pin connector there's mine back over there in the corner so let's give it a go looks like it fired up nicely we're so we're still going good even with the missing fan blades uh, it shouldn't really affect anything but let's get back to hive os and see what we got So we are back into HiveOS and we are looking at the miner and here we go. So as you can see right here, this is where the card is plugged in and it is not functioning. Uh, we'll, even, we'll even log in here. Yes, yeah, see as you can see it does not detect the card. So we are going to head over into the flight, uh, not flight sheet, the overclocking tool. We are going to flash the BIOS, guys. And we're going to give the file here. Uh, go ahead, Dex desktop. And we're going to choose the stock ROM, which is just the Asus ROM right here. We're going to go to cards. We're going to go to GPU 2, because that's the one we do not know. Um, let's go ahead and force the flashing and we will try to see if we can get it to flash onto there and get the card back up and running. It says ROM flashing is okay. Now reboot. So we go to power actions. We're going to go to reboot and we are going to see what's going to happen. Rig should be rebooting any second now looks like it is right now so now we are back up and running uh, I went and checked on the rig and it is good to go so looks like we see it there in the shell and let's check the console console's not up yet but the shell sees it there is GPU 2 so we it is up guys look at that boom super simple um, I just this is just the stock BIOS from uh, tech power up so I just typed in Asus RX 574 gigabyte BIOS ROM this is the first thing that usually comes up for you is tech power up I, I trust their stuff uh, use their stuff for years um, so this is just our stock BIOS for the OC edition uh, which we downloaded right here you just scroll down and you can just click download now and it will download it for you and this is the ROM that we used not not an overclocked ROM nothing this is just stock ROM uh, and we're gonna see if it even likes that we might just leave it stock or we'll we might just <clears throat> I might try to flash it with the BIOS that I have this is the BIOS on my uh, on my rate on my 570 um, I don't know if it's gonna work on that one uh, it might I think that one's stock too but I'm not really sure it pushes 31 mega hashes so I don't think it's stock just to be completely honest um, so we're gonna come back in here and check so GPU 2 is getting 29.88 mega hashes guys boom look at that we are back up in there and doing fairly well I don't know which overclock setting it's using uh, 
Oh yeah, we're about to, we're about to have a problem. Uh, I gotta move these overclock settings around. Because technically this is not for that. Uh, so there's GPU 0, there's GPU 1. So we're gonna try the same overclock settings that we use for my 570. Uh, my specific one. So this is GPU 2. So we're gonna enter it right there. So there should be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, let's do 4. And just add another 980 to the millivolts. And then. Right here, we're going to add 2020 to the clock. GPU 2 so it does have LPDM memory <clears throat> it's like all of my 570s but this one has LPDM this one has Micron the other one all the other ones have LPDM and the memory state 0 fan 75% uh, refresh rate 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 right one, two, three, four, five, no. Yeah, that's right. And we're gonna click save before we get an issue with one of these cards, because one of these cards doesn't really like to be overclocked like that, but it actually looks like it does like it. Um, so hopefully this overclock will apply. Oh, auto-tune. So it was auto-tuning the GPUs anyway. Uh, which is cool. It says GPU one GPUs are still auto tuning. Okay, so overclock settings were applied. Hopefully this every now and then when I apply an overclock setting to this rig it likes to crash uh, the one card. Let's see, we got an issue. Well, it looks like we're back up and going. Everything seems to be good. So, boom, boom, boom. So here's the other Asus. Right here, GPU 2. Looks like right now we're pulling 30 mega hashes, 30.39. So that should fix it. We will pause and see how it likes that. So guys, we are back here, <clears throat> and we have been about f five or ten minutes in of waiting for the hash rate to kind of stabilize out. And here is the result so far. We are here's GPU two. Um, you know we're pushing 27.1 mega hashes uh, with the same over overclock settings that I use for the Sapphire and the uh, the other Asus card um, the other Asus Strix who pushes 31 mega hashes so I do think that this does actually finalize my just kinda why I did it because I wasn't sure when I got the when I got my stock uh, 570 Strix it wasn't stock um, that's kinda what I'm boiling down to so I might try to reflash um, looks like I just got a rejected chair with that with that card. Probably doesn't like have the high overclock. Um, but we'll try to reflash. I'll see if I can flash it with this. See if that raises the the mega hashes at all. But um, for the time being, I'm just gonna leave it stock. Uh, I might try. I might try to reflash it just to see if it is. Just to clarify my answer. Um, but not really sure um, if I'll leave it that way. I think I just kind of want to leave this one stock until just kind of get an extra good uh, solid numbers for a stock 570 strikes because apparently mine's non-stock or it's just really good. 
um, one or the other. Um, <laughs> you know, it could be just a really good card, or it could be a lottery winner, or it could not be stock. Uh, you know, it's kind of a toss or turn on that one. Um, it's very possible it's not a stock BIOS, uh, but there's no way to really tell until I, unless I like flash it with a non-stock BIOS or, uh, you know, or sleep it how it is. So, let's get over to the two Satoshis guys. Um, I hope you all have liked this video. I hope it's informative on how to reflash the a BIOS of a card that I had that you may or may not have bought, uh, you know, or you have, and it has a problem. Uh, Windows seen could see the card, but it couldn't utilize it. It has a little, you know, a little triangle, yellow triangle uh, of doom next to it, um, which usually requires you use Pixel Patcher on Windows, um, which I have a, a link for if you would like that um, to use on Windows. So you, it does the same thing, um, but on Hive OS, which is where I keep my rigs. Um, the card can just run on there and you can actually flash the BIOS and everything from Hive which has made Hive one of the best tools that I've learned to use thus far for uh, for GPU mining um, I've really enjoyed using it so I have a referral link for that down below um, if you want to use it it does really not benefit benefit me much but if you want to use it go for it um, my donation links are down below those really do benefit me and the channel on getting stuff like this this was really really cheap uh, the, the guy that I got it from wasn't really sure what was wrong with it um, and it had some broken fan blades which is an easy fix but right now it's not even bothering it that it has the two broken fan blades which is pretty funny it's actually running cooler than the other the other sticks that I have which is really funny um, but you know I hope you've enjoyed it please like subscribe hit that bell notification so you know every time that I make an awesome video for you guys if you want to get this awesome hat uh, please head over to CryptoMichaelDesigns.com I would really appreciate it guys it would mean a lot to me if you share this video with anybody and everybody that you can um, means a lot uh, Savage Mind does videos for Hive OS as well, and he's mentioned me a couple times. So I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, so here is my re-update of how to do this um, because I haven't read, haven't done this in a while on Hive. Uh, I have a video for it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please, guys, hit the like button, subscribe, get this out to everybody that you know that needs help with this. If you need me for anything, you know where to find me. Yen.io. Catch y'all later, guys. Keep hashing. <laughs>